I thought I'd do something a bit different for my video this week. It's Monday morning and I've just finished a weekend of two gigs, uh, which normally wouldn't be a novelty because that's what I do most weekends, except I haven't really done two gigs in a weekend for about 18 months. So I thought I'd do a little diary, a gig diary, a road diary, or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, it's about a 400 mile drive right up to uh, East Anglia in the UK and then back down again to the south coast. I kept a bit of a video diary through the weekend, so here we go. So my gig tonight is in Lower Stop, and this is almost the most easterly point in the whole of the UK. It's not very summery, is it? June, almost the longest day of the year. I'm in the dressing room, this is the first gig back, and I'm going to use my Quad Cortex on my first electric guitar gig, and I'm going to use it with in-ears as well. Two things that I've never done before in one go after 18 months of not playing. Might be a bad move, but let's see how it goes. Right, let me show you. I've got the Quad Cortex set up out here on the stage. Right, out here. This is John, who's going to um, make it all work. <laughs> there we are. We shall see how this goes in a minute. I've got my in-ears in. It's working so far. Ooh. started my YouTube channel because I wasn't doing any gigs and it gave me something to practice towards. Well, now the gigging has started again, I thought maybe I'd do a uh, gig diary to uh, get things going and just to show what it's like being a gigging musician in the UK. So this is the first gig back, been allowed for a long time. Um, it's allowed because it's uh, they're adhering to all the regulations and people are spaced out. They're not allowed to dance, they've got to sit on their chairs and stare at us. Um, but it's really nice to be back playing again. Um, good bunch of guys in this band, so it's good fun. Long drive, but it's uh, nice to get in the car and go for a little drive and have a listen to your own music without the children in the car for once. So yeah, not a bad thing, all in all. I'm not going to be using an amplifier for the first time. I'm using my Quad Cortex. I imaged one of my other amps uh, yesterday, my car, uh, what's it called? Uh, Vincent Viceroy, Car Viceroy. So I can choose whichever of my amps I want, my Vibra King, Vibra Verb, or my car. They're all on the Quad Cortex. Um, actually, the one that sounded best on my in-ears was the car, so I'm glad I imaged that one yesterday. And it's also the first time I'm going to be trying to use in-ears. I've resisted it for years, mainly because I was worried about how my guitar amp would sound through the in-ears, as I'm so used to it blasting at my ankles, uh, that I thought, you know, lo losing that sound of it 
next to me might be a bit peculiar. So as I've got the Quad Cortex and I'm enjoying the sound I'm getting out of that, I've got these in-ears. They're only cheap generic ones, but if it's a success, I shall get some properly molded ones. And the other thing, as well as not using an amp for the first time, as well as using in-ears for the first time, I'm also having to read music for the first time in a while. So here's some of the charts, all on the iPad, unlike they would have been in the old days. And having this thrown in front of me, I've had to bring it back. I've struggled with this one in the soundtrack, I'll be honest. I've played it before, but uh, I got confused. So I was a, uh, the old joke, as you may know it, how do you make a guitarist turn down? Put music in front of him. Well, it worked tonight. The other way to make a guitarist turn down, of course, is to get him to use a quad cortex with the PA. Then you can have him at whatever volume you like, because he's not blasting his amplifier out at you. The guitar, I'm getting used to it. It's more definition than I'm used to it. I think it sounds better than it would do if I had my mic'd up amp in my ears. But for singing, it's a different world. I can hear exactly what I'm doing, which the majority of the time is a good thing. Maybe not all the time. So there's not too many guitar solos tonight. It's mainly rhythm, backing vocals. I'm gonna sing one song. I won't better get any footage from the gig, but I've got a little bit of footage from the sound check. Singing backing vocals tonight, uh, me and the keyboard player. He does the gig more regularly than me. So he does the backing vocals and I'm kind of slotting in around him, having to listen to what he's doing and kind of making up my parts on the fly, which goes well most of the time. A uh, couple of tricky bits, but uh, you have to know when to back off and not do them. That's probably the best uh, best idea if you can't hear what you should be doing. But using the in-ears, it's so much easier and so much clearer than it would be through a monitor. But I'm gonna have to get changed in a minute. Got to wear something smart for this. It's uh, a hotel, like a hotel holiday resort. So I'm changed, ready for the gig. What do you reckon? Smart, eh? So what the gig is, which I ha haven't really mentioned, it's a uh, hotel sort of holiday resort, adults only. Um, so it's an older crowd, no families here. It's a Motown show. I mean, the band backing a singer called Paul Hazel um, is a great singer, great entertainer. And we're uh, backing him. There's trumpet, sax, keyboard, guitar, bass and drums. We've had a little sound check this afternoon. And I've got to be back up there at the venue in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna get my guitar in its case, get my music on the iPad in the case, get my in-ears coiled up and back in this small box. That could take some time. I'm gonna do the gig. Six a.m. I decided to get up early, drive home. I think it's more like 160 miles maybe. Anyway, it's take a lot less time at this time in the morning. And I've got a gig starting at three o'clock in Brighton, 150, 160 miles away. So I'm up, I'm dressed, showered, and I'm ready to go. As we approach the summer solstice in the UK, the longest day, I just got soaked walking the 20 yards from the room to my car. Lovely, got to drive back in this. I've just put my sat nav on, it's 180 miles and it's tipping it down in rain. I can't really see through my glasses. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to go home now. Hopefully might get some sleep before I have to go to my next gig.
video. That was a bit of footage from my gig in Brighton yesterday. Please hit like if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.